back again with another exciting video. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about a very important topic, and this topic is the potomitan. When you understand the potomitan, its meaning, you gain a great understanding of how things work in Haitian voodoo. When you say potomita, you are talking of a pillar. But many would say, why is it that when you say pillar, I see wood used? Well, when you look at most of the homes of Haiti, you see that the, the roof of the houses are made of tol. What you say, sheet metal. I'm not saying if you are wealthy and things of that, that nature, your house is made of stone. But for the common Haitian, their home, their house is made of tall. They, I mean, their house, the roof of their house is made of tall. The walls are made of brick. Or let me explain what tall is. Tall is basically sheet metal. You know? But since the sheet metal is so... Uh, delicate we use wood at for the framing uh, as for the raft for the rafters and what supports the rafters is basically this beam or what some would say basically is the pillar it's made of wood in most the most uh, most of most of the time when you you know go to visit you know people's uh, homes you see that but now in the voodoo temple you see a lot, some, you see sometimes some people have stone, they have a stone pillar, and then sometimes they have wood. It really doesn't matter, it serves the same purpose. Now, this pillar, or this beam, is the most misunderstood thing in Haitian voodoo. It leads into idolatry. It leads into stagnation in one's growth and development because people get into worshiping the pillar and not the understanding of how it relates to the individual. As you see, it's rooted in the earth as well as it supports the ceiling. So we can symbolically see it as the support system for the world we live in. But as we understand, for every macrocosm, there has to be a microcosm. So it reflects itself in each individual. Each individual we learn in church is a church with many members. Well, it's the same thing in voodoo. Every individual is a wufa. Every individual is a, you know, has a potomitan within them. They are a potomitan. It is through each individual that the light of God moves through. Every human being is a conduit for God's power to manifest in. This is what you find in voodoo. The potomitan, they say it is to the potomitan that the loi traveled down to the earth. No! It is through all life that the light of God travels through. The potomitan is a symbolic icon. that represents everything in the universe that has life when you talk of possession when you talk of you know the loi the the, the monte you know a person being mounted by a loi it is through this avenue when you are Let's just say when you're going through the ceremony, you know, they're calling forth the loi and things of that nature. They're, they're channeling, they're channeling 
different parts of the spirit. Each person has that connection to the divine. So when they call the spirit to come and become part of themselves, it is through this channel that they descend, through the individual. We can symbolically say that it travels through or we can say that it is a power that it magnifies that person's soul. It is a transformation that happens. Now for those of you uh, people that are have read the Metu Netter, Volume 1, I believe they call this the Kaibit. This part of the individual soul is mutable. It can change. It can take any form it is any form that the individual desires. So when you are calling forth whatever manifestate whatever attribute of God you desire, it changes the form of that part of you which you call the kaibit, and for us, we call the tibo orange or the num. Many people say, Why is it that you say, Why is it that you say, you know, in the past, that voodoo possession is bullshit? Because there's many people who do not understand this and how it manifests. It is something that the naked eye cannot detect. But you find many people who utilize this sacred understanding and practice to mislead and deceive individuals. I am not downing possession and I've always admitted it in every one of my videos. But it is just something that you have to experience to understand what it truly is. The potomita. We can look at it from a universal sense as the kundalini or the whole chakra system in the, in, as in the individual. We can look at it in that light as well. But I want to basically stress this, that it is not something that is taught in voodoo. This is the universal connection between all beliefs. And this is why I always say that you can't say one belief is better than another. Than the other, excuse me. Because every one of them has some type of commonality, but they use different language just to describe it. With this whole understanding, I want to say to you that when you talk of a voodoo laku, the voodoo laku, let me explain this. The laku means yard. When, when I say voodoo laku, because it's, oh, it's basically holy ground. It is a, a yard that is dedicated to different spirits. But when you understand the whole mechanics of the yard you begin to see that you are a reflection of how the yard is set up. The potomitan is you. The iron that sits in the ground that has to be intensified or awoken is nothing more than the fire that rises in your soul. And for you people, you are familiar with the kundalini, right? So this is the language that many people use that's into that transcendental yoga thing. But we have it in voodoo. But it's not, you. we don't use that language. And this is not a understanding for Tsi Bebe. Or, you know, Tsi Wu Si. You know what I'm saying? The unlearned. This is spiritual. Many people get into the religion of voodoo. But they do not get into the spirit of the religion. This may fly past many people's head. Many people who have gotten the konzo. Many people will say, oh, Boko Leonardi doesn't know what he's talking about. Because these people are carnal. They walk 
in the footsteps of man and not in the path of God. So with that said, I conclude this video. I hope this video was very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.